All right, moving on to the politics. Since the last time we heard from former President Donald Trump, significant developments have unfolded. In a historic and unprecedented move, Trump was convicted of 34 felonies, marking the first time in U.S. history that a former president has faced such a severe legal outcome. The convictions are tied to an array of charges, including falsifying business records and engaging in a scheme to influence the 2016 presidential election, which he won. Trump's legal team has already announced plans to appeal, saying that he's innocent and labeling the proceedings as a political witch hunt. Well, for some people, it doesn't seem to be a bad thing at all. The Democrats and the fake news media want to constantly talk about, oh, President Trump is a convicted felon. Well, you want to know something? The man that I worship is also a convicted felon. And he was murdered on a Roman cross. Okay, big Marge. <laughs> I wasn't sure where she was going with it. No. Uh, well, do, you, do you not know? Now I do. I When she said the man that I worship. I know you're, I know you're new to the faith, so I had to ask. <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> my church is open right now. You want me to go? <laughs> it's open. We got Tuesday night. Um, but yeah, it's Marsh comparing Trump to to Jesus. <laughs> but that's what I'm like. I, did, I didn't know where she. I didn't think that she would compare Trump to. I didn't think she would do that. I mean, yeah, I guess for her, it's not much of a leap. It, well, it should be. <laughs> it should be right. Absolutely. Uh, Latoya says she looked like the wrestler. <laughs> China. <laughs> she looked like China. <laughs> oh, make it work. Now that's worse. Rest in peace, China. <laughs> um, Latoya said, Dads be so hard to shop, but we're really not. Yeah, just like no, because y'all, y'all don't be talking. Y'all don't be talking to y'all fathers. No, they just be using them. Exactly. Daddy, can I get this? Daddy, can I get something else? <laughs> Getting uh my 65 year old underwear is nasty work. People do it. Yeah, they do. Um, but all's not bad for Trump uh, as he awaits sen- sentencing for this hush money case. His other cases are likely to be shut down until after the election. A court has put the Georgia case on hold in a move that's temporarily halts the state's effort to prosecute Donald Trump. And since, you know, that's been on hold, the decision from that came from the Georgia Supreme Court, um, who are saying they are also investigating Fannie Willis's um dealings i should say in this case so she actually might be kicked off the case when it does resume if ever it does because the state supreme court of course is republican speaking of um scrutiny that Fonnie wallace Fonnie wallace funny willis is undergoing trump was asked if he would ever declassify some important files that have been classified for a very long time including the epstein files if he ever got back into the office and this is what he had to say. Would you declassify the 9-11 um, files? Yeah. Would you declassify JFK files? Yeah. Would you, I did. I did a lot of it. Would you declassify the Epstein files? Yeah. Yeah, I would. All right. I guess I would. I think that less so because, you know, you don't know. It, you don't want to affect people's lives if it's phony stuff in there because it's a lot of phony stuff yeah. with that whole world. Uh, but I think I would. <laughs> not, that, not so much, but... You know, less he less said, so, he less said, so. Am I am I am I in that? Let me think. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, less so. You know, <laughs> all less so means is that they'll black out the stuff he doesn't want you to see. You look, did my name in that? Take it out. <laughs> it's classified, but you know, less so. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, more from Trump. He held a rally in Las Vegas, 110 degree weather. Um, and he talked about minorities and telephone, especially African Americans and Hispanic and Amer- Hispanic Americans and African Americans are the ones suffering most with this incredible illegal alien group that's coming in and staying at our luxury hotels. And you know where they're be- they're being put up in hotels. Some of them are luxury hotels and by the way just in case you're wondering i got no teleprompters and i haven't from the beginning these people that probably means we'll make a better speech no i got no teleprompter you know i pay all this money to teleprompter people and i'd say 20 percent of the time they don't work they don't work (laughs) we know We've they seen. <laughs> we've they seen that they don't. They don't work, and your eyes don't work either. That we've seen very clearly. Man, he looks bad. 
he he got no pop when he was first talking about that teleprompter stuff. I mean, not the African Americans and Hispanic Americans. Because the thing is, though, like you have to, he has to realize that you're talking to a crowd of people who are not African American, they're not Hispanic. So you're talking about that they're suffering the most to people who feel like they're suffering the most. So, like, you're, you're, you're beating a dead horse and you're talking to an audience that does not mix with what you're saying. Like, you should go to an HBCU and say African Americans are suffering. Like, that would make sense. <laughs> 100%. We'll see how that goes, right? Um, <laughs> On the other side of the aisle, the Democrat candidate for president, the actual president, the incumbent, um, he was actually having fun doing the mannequin challenge. I thought that was uh, Whitney Houston over there on the left. I thought it was Yolanda Adams. <laughs> I said, I was like, what is Yolanda Adams doing at the White House? <laughs> like, what is she doing? And they were like, oh, that's Billy Porter. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, look at this picture. Billy Porter was kissing kissing this man's hand. <laughs> I look at Sherry Shepard over there like, Billy, what are you doing? <laughs> Get up. <laughs> oh, that's not Sherry Shepard. No, not Sherry Shepard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so you going to tell me it's not Jesse Jackson back there either, is it? Uh-uh. Damn. Who are these people? I don't know. Al, that that's is. not Al Rucker in the red. <laughs> <laughs> like Paul Bear. <laughs> A black Paul Bear. Well, we know that's uh, we know that's the first man, Doug, next to him. That um, I do know. We know Doug. Who's that Shaq right there? That's Shaq. That's Shaq right there. <laughs> Short Shaq. Who that boy? Who that man that be in the Tyler Perry movies? The one that was in um, uh, the one that was in that Joe Scott movie. That was <laughs> the one that was Jones. Richard T. Yeah. Jones. That's him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Nasty. Um, so yeah, that happened, but also according to the latest data from 538, the, uh, election <laughs> is tightening up. <laughs> Trump is currently polling at 41% with president Joe Biden at 42%. The numbers are tight, reflecting a highly competitive race. What's particularly interesting are the simulations run by 538, which show a 50% chance for both Trump and Biden in a head to head matchup. Four years ago, Trump faced an uphill battle. Um, as he was president, trailing in many polls and ultimately losing to President Biden. This time around, his legal challenges and controversy, uh, controversial legacy add complex layers to his campaign, but his base is still there. So the question for you, Dex, is mm -hmm. Trump in a better or worse position this time around than he was four years ago? What do you think? Well, I know he's in a better position than Kennedy is. <laughs> that you know that. <laughs> um I, it is really hard because, you know, I feel like four years ago we were smack dab in the, in the beginning of the pandemic when it was right. like election time. And I think that that's one of the reasons that like Trump did not win because of the, how he handled the pandemic. But I think now with Joe Biden, like we're in like, I guess, the war, we're kind of getting involved with that. And then also. Right. So it's like it's like it's like. Trump, I think, is in a good position because now you have like something to fight. Like you could be like, look, you're not handling this well the same way like Joe was like, you didn't handle COVID well. So I think with inflation, it puts Trump in a better position because he could be like, look, you're the president. You're not handling this properly. But also, I think you were just convicted. <laughs> you're now a convicted felon. So it's hard to be like, oh, yeah, he has an advantage. Like we should be like, yeah, you can't run. The Republicans are trying to um, bring Joe Biden's son into all of this, who was just convicted of having a gun, which was against illegally, his, yeah, illegally, you know, as a felon, I guess he is. Um, <laughs> which that case was crazy, but his son got convicted. They're going to try to hang that, of course, around Biden and act like he's also a criminal. When it, well, you know, let me say this: the Biden you, crime family. Well, let me just say this: if you can't control your household, you can't control your kids. Oh, you, he's your a he's dog. a he was a grown man yeah. when he was doing. You can't control practice. your kids. It's not like he was dog, fourteen in the house. Your dog running around here biting everybody. Biting like people. it is. You if you can't control your household, you definitely can't control uh, it. You, you got a point. Um, Latoya said uh, Joe might be Billy's type. Oh, <laughs> no. You think he was? Uh, you think he was flirting? Yeah. I think he's trying to get at it. Billy Porter, absolutely. 
He was trying. He was trying to steal, Mister Steal your, Mister Steal your man. I mean, Joe don't want that, but I'm sure he was. <laughs> <laughs> Sources say, but uh, we wish Billy at the absolute best in all his future endeavors. And but don't be at the White House kissing on nobody's hands. Stop that. I know, especially a black man kissing on. You know, the optics of that just isn't. Yes, and you look. So people were saying that um, Biden was doing the Mitch McConnell challenge um, when he was standing there. So I decided to put the two together and see who actually was frozen for longer. Here we go. Mitch Moore. Oh, you're so messy. <laughs> like, you are so messy. <laughs> Congrats. Congrats, Senator Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Another win in the record book. Scoop. 